one bad thing about this week? I mean, I got to be honest. Before I was on the ticket, Donald Trump didn't have any reason to call me a name. So when I got on the ticket, he had to figure out how to call me a name. So the morning after I became the nominee, he did a press conference and he took a mic and he said that Tim Kaine, he was a really lousy governor of New Jersey. Now, I, I, I'm a sensitive guy. I, I don't like criticism. And so I kind of felt bad until I realized, wait a minute, I was never governor of New Jersey. I've never even lived in New Jersey. But look, guys, give Donald a break. He's new to this. He's new to this. You know, the basic civics, there's 50 states in Virginia is different than New Jersey. I'm sure that's in the briefing book a few pages later. He's not there yet. Look, we're on this tour and we're having fun, but it's about something real serious, which is about the American economy and how to grow it, because Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump have real different plans. I like making things simple, so I'm going to make it simple. Would you rather have a you're fired president or a you're hired president? I thought so. Um, I thought so. And I, and I predict this, after Donald Trump loses this race, and after everybody has forgotten virtually everything about his candidacy, the one thing people will remember about Donald Trump is two words, you're fired. You're fired. Hillary has, is going to be a you're hired president, and she's going to talk a little bit about what we've been both talking about and learning about on the trail with factory stops and rallies. The American economy was in a free fall at the end of the Bush administration. President Obama has pulled it out and we're climbing again, but we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go because we need to grow jobs and make sure that the growth is not just for a few, but that the growth is shared by all. And so to do that, Hillary's got a very dynamic plan about how to grow our economy and grow it for all. It involves skills training. It involves major investment in, um, in advanced manufacturing. It involves infrastructure. It involves debt-free college so people can get the skills that they need to be successful. It, it involves, you know, things that should be just basic, like raising the federal minimum wage so you can't work full-time and be below the poverty level. And it also means making sure that women are entitled to equal pay for equal work. Now, these are the basics of the Hillary Clinton You're Hired plan. And, and guess what? She is respectful enough of y'all. Oh, I don't know. Do you use that in Columbus? Yeah, okay. Am I okay? She is respectful enough of the voters to share the details. You go on HillaryClinton.com, one click of a mouse, you can see how she'll do it, how she'll pay for it, how she'll benefit, right? And uh, she said this the other night at the convention. I like this line. She said, um, I'm going to give you the details. Some people criticize the details. Oh, I don't want to know about the details. But here's what she said. If it's about your kid, if it's about your family, if it's about your business, it ain't a detail. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. And she's going to share the plan. Go over to the other side of the aisle. Donald Trump. No plans, folks. No plans. I mean, he talked for 75 minutes at the convention, criticized Hillary Clinton, and made a lot of big, broad claims without any substance behind him. In, in fact, if you ask Donald a question, he'll say, I'm going to create jobs, or we're going to all be rich, or we're going to beat ISIS, or we're going to build a wall and make Mexico pay for it. And you ask him, well, how are you going to do any of those things? And he just says, believe me. Believe me. Huh. Believe me. Believe me. But here's a problem. A lot of people have believed Donald Trump and gotten stiff, gotten hurt, gotten burnt. There's a lot of stories of contractors. Hillary Clinton and I both grew up in families where our dads ran small businesses. Her dad ran a drape 
in a fabric printing factory, and my dad ran a iron worker organized welding shop. And so we're used to, you know, we're used to businesses. A whole lot of small businesses have done deals with Donald Trump to help him build golf courses, build casinos, etc. Only to get stiffed after the job was done. They did the work. They were entitled to the pay. But Donald and his phalanx of lawyers said, we're not paying you, sue us. We'll run you into the ground. Even if you win, you'll pay so much in lawyers' fees, it won't be worth anything. They got hurt, and many of them lost their businesses because they believed Donald Trump. Re retirees in Florida, hundreds of them gave Trump money to build them condos, and they never got the condos, and they never got the money. They got burned and lost part of their savings because they believed Donald Trump. Students, I know, hey look, Columbus is a big town for students, right? Big town. So, so young people, like people, vets and others who wanted to advance, Donald Trump said, hey, give me a bunch of dough and be part of my Trump University and then I'll just guarantee you'll have paid for success in your life. And they gave him a lot of money and they ended up with a certificate that wasn't even worth the paper it was ri written on. They got ripped off all because they believed Donald Trump. And so now... So now he's just saying, oh, I'll do all these things, believe me. But we are just too great a nation to believe a guy who's ripped off virtually everybody he's come in contact with. We cannot put a nation as great as the United States in the hands of a empty promising, self-promoting, one-man wrecking crew. We just can't do it, folks. We just can't do it. And so I... Um, I want to ask you a question, and I hope you'll ask everybody this question, and that is this. When Donald Trump says, believe me, does anybody here, I mean, even come close to believing this guy? I mean, do you believe even one word of what he says? That's my attitude. Not one word. Not one word, folks. Not one word. And that's what we've got to do on this trail, convince others that they shouldn't be so gullible to fall for Trump's no details, promises either. Okay, look, now it is my great pleasure. We had fun on these couple.